Hey, good day and welcome to the show. Well, I'm up at Cape York and have a look at this for action. So many different tuna species right here, got lots of long tails, and they're working up the bait balls along the coast here. Now we're over with the boys from Albany Island, and uh, you know, the fishing doesn't get much better than this. Absolutely amazing. Look how many fish are in the water. And there's plenty more of it coming up. Look up. There's a ton of tuna. <laughs> they are speedsters. There we go. Well done, Miggy. Hentra Valley. Well done, Wayno. Deeper down, there are colourful reefies. The biggest grassy you've ever seen. It's fantastic. And when we say colourful, we mean it. With all kinds of exotic colour. Yeah, baby. Almost 950 kilometres north of Cairns, Great Barrier Reef helicopters are taking me and my fishing mates to Albany Island. It's a fishing and holiday resort with the slogan, remote no longer means roughing it. But we're sailing away from the island's comfortable beds and welcoming bar for a few nights of doing just that. With the CY Charters resort crew on board, we're cruising around 75 nautical miles around the Cape and down the west coast to a remote fishing spot I haven't been to before. This is the Doughboy River. Well, here we are at the Doughboy River on the western side of Cape York. We're down about four hours from the tip and I'm with the boys from Albany Island. Our campsite's gonna be up the back and I'm looking forward to some pretty good fishing action. Leaving the resort crew to set up camp, we're chasing pelagics right away. And first cab off the rank is my old well mate, Mick. Well done, Mick. First hook up. Straight in. Wow. Oh, nice. First fish of the trip. Just hold him. Yeah, beautiful. Like a torpedo. First fish of the trip, Mickey. Unreal, eh? They're one of the great predators. And they grow pretty big. You want to whack him back in? Yeah, big one, eh? Yeah, good stuff. And there's plenty more where he came from, as our CY charter skipper Hammer soon shows us. All right, look at that. That is a feeding frenzy. This is what we're using, just little chrome lures. Oh, there's one there, little Gillies bait fish. I've just got a Gamakatsu hook on the bottom. Nice and simple, 40 pound fluorocarbon leader, 20 pound braid on this beautiful little Biomaster Shimano. Now, if you cast into there and don't hook up, you've got a real problem. Here we go. Whoa, well done. Well, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh, there we go. <laughs> And don't you love that? <laughs> they are speedsters. And they grow to big sizes. They actually move down the, down the east coast. This one here is a beautiful mac tuna. You can see the stripes on the side of the fish. Here he comes. Look at that. Look at the pretty colours on the side of that. Got the stripes all the way along. I'm going to let you go, buddy. There we go. Oh, he's on it. No. Long cast out the back. This sounder is alive, eh? There's fish everywhere. Be lucky to get the lure back to the back to the boat, I reckon. Insane, isn't it, hey? Have a look at the fish just here. That's beautiful. When you come across these bait balls and all the tuna are all massed right together, working all that bait up to the surface, and the tuna come in and just absolutely demolish it. And with it, our lures as well. All right. They're slowly working back. They're a very tough fish. They'll do a number of runs.
tail thumping away. Beautiful, thanks for that. Anywhere else we might have stayed with the tuna, but up here, there's so much variety, we moved on to a new target species and new action. Had a thumb and big trevally just like this one. Well done, Wayno. And this shark came up. Wow. That was a big shark. That was a big shark. That was a big shark. Look at that. That's a beautiful golden trevally. Well done, Wayno. We've got two hooks in him. I don't know who's playing in this one. Oh! oh. oh. Oh, he pinched your fish. Him out too, fish. Too, <laughs> Let him fish. I'm Well done, boys. Well, this is sort of like a, a dual catch. No, I tied it out. He, you wore it out. He caught it. He caught it in the end. So, better put him back in. Do the honours, Wayno. They're a hardy fish, those ones. Escaping with the at Keppel Bay Marina on Queensland's Capricorn Coast, I'm heading out with my Quintrex yellowfin, following our mothership for another assault on the big reefies that make this one of my favourite fishing destinations. We're heading out of Keppel Bay Marina up in Queensland and have a look at this for a morning. Absolutely perfect. Our target species is Big Red Emperor and we're going to travel far and wide to catch them. We're out in around 60 metres of water. I've just put a really nice big heavy sinker on because there's not too much current, but that'll get it right down on the bottom. I've hung a little squid off as well. And then I've got one of these beautiful cuttlefish baits, big 9 Gamakatsu. And uh, I've got a 100-pound fluorocarbon trace onto 65-pound Power Pro Bray. Beautiful Stella, look at that. And one of these new Game Type J rods from Shimano. Super light, but incredibly powerful. All right, just about to have our first drop of the day. See you later, guys. We're right on them. Looking great. Let's go, ET. There we go. <laughs> oh, don't you love this sort of stuff? Oh, I dropped him. Dropped him right there. Yeah, right there, in full view of our mothership. The best recovery is to get down again fast. The secret for chasing Nanny Guy or any of the big reds is to get your drift right. At the moment, Graham's just on the wheel. He's just moving the boat forward. He's just moving ahead of where the fish are, and then we're just going to drift slowly back over the top. Wow. Got the hook in this one. Got him. Saddle-tail sea perch. Good stuff. That's what we're after. That's what we like. There was a lot there. I think that's almost worth an anchor. Oh, a good fish, or you bricked? Might be bricked. Got colour. It's red emperor. Oh, really? Any size on it? Yep. Nice fish. All right. Beautiful. Ah, oh, well done. All right, get on you on the board. At last. Woohoo! Aren't they a beautiful fish? There was a few down there, too. Yeah, I know. Just the basic Paternoster rig. Little Paternoster. Oh, come on, mate. There we go. Yeah, they grow much larger than this. What sort of size can you get them out here, mate? We've had them up to about 85 centimetres, which would be 15 kilos. That guy's yeah, only nice. probably 65. Yep. Now, whenever you're out on the water, it's really important to wear a life jacket. I've elected to put one of these ones on today. The thing is, if you don't have a life jacket on and something happens and you end up in the water, you can only tread water for so long. So, really important. Make sure you always wear a life jacket, even on a beautiful day like this. Now, there's so many different types of life jackets you can use. I've got this little hip one on at the moment, just simply because I'm up in Queensland. It's a calm day and it's also very hot up here. So to actually have one on over my, over my head and on my chest, it might just start to get me a little warm under the collar a little bit too much today. So I've put this one on and it's perfect for the job. There's a life jacket out there for you and make sure you wear one when you're out on the water. Yep. 
Let's keep his head coming. He's not a monster by any means. Oh, grassy sweet lip from big grassy. The biggest grassy you've ever seen. He's a, he's a nice big fella. Good that stuff. That is huge. All right, he's a beauty. Beautiful fish. Right, oh, beautiful grassy sweet lip. Have a look at the coloration around those eyes. Perhaps. Well, there we go. As I said, the, the markings around the eyes are just fantastic, aren't they? I still want an emperor. So that means a change of bait. So there you go, huss ahead, and that's it. Changed everything now, just a nice big lead. Pat and Oster, a single hook this time around. Because if you get a very big fish or and a small fish on the same one, it's very difficult to get them both up and you could lose both. So it's better just to focus on that one big fish. That should be a good fish, ET. Oh, yeah. Great work. <sighs> Once you get him up a couple of metres, you're safe. Right, so we've swapped over to the, the Husser heads and we got the old inquiry on those. Got some colour down there now. Let's have a look. That's a good fish, ET. Here she comes. That's a big red. That's going to be 10 kilo plus. That's a nice fish. <laughs> big bait, big oh, fish. Beautiful. Not 10 oh, kilo, not but 10, still a nice fish. Seven or eight. Yeah, good one. Unreal. Woo! Happy days. And they say big reds. Well, <laughs> he's not an absolute monster, but what a beautiful fish. Hey, what about that? And there we go. An absolute cracker of a red emperor. Well, here's a great lure to have in your tackle box, the classic blue water rocket popper. It's a versatile lure that can be used in a number of ways. If it's skipped across the surface, it looks like a fleeing garfish, and everyone knows how much big predators love fleeing bait fish. It can also be used in a walk the dog action, nice and slow on the surface, a deliberate wobble, and that also hooks up those big predators. The lure's weighted at the rear for a long cast. It's got a heavy duty rattle, comes in lots of different colours. The perfect lure to have in your tackle box. Escaping with the tea. At the Doughboy River near the tip of Cape York, we're about 75 nautical miles away from the comforts of Albany Island Fishing Resort. But when the crew at CY Charters put us onto fishing like this, there's no worries at all about how remote we are. We've changed target again away from the pelagics and down deeper to the reefs. Oh, yeah. Get on your mick. Mick's on as well. There we go. Nice finger mark. Mickey's got a good one over the back here. Oh, nice fish, Mick. This is the fish of the day. Hey. Well, that's beautiful. Is that a blue bone? Woohoo! Oh, <laughs> blue bone. Wow, that is a man. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That colt sniper right in the corner of the mouth. Well, a beautiful finger mark. You can see that big black dot towards the end of the tail there. Good fish, Mickey. <laughs> oh, it's another nice fish. Here he comes. Look at him. Oh, blue bone again. It's another cracker. Yeah, baby. Woo! Mickey, the blue bone kid. <laughs> Look at that. We're making a living out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, all right. Hang on. Oh, gosh, that's a nice looking fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're on on the right. Come on, Wayne. Oh. Go, Mickey. You got him. You got him. Oh, yeah, I'm on too. And he's trucking. Oh. oh! 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 That was a good fish. Oh! Look at that, the pain of losing a fish. Oh! Well, time to put the Colt Sniper jigs away. They've been fantastic. Those beautiful blue bone that Mick caught. Might have been a bit of a fluke, but that's uh, <laughs> not happening to do that. 
time to put these away. We're going to do a bit of trolling now. Um, the birds are still tied in here. So uh, putting on these beautiful big blue water classics. As you can see, fantastic looking lure. All right, triple hookup. Woohoo! Oh, that's what we love. There might be a big tuna. Where are you, mate? Yeah, I'm out here on that side. What do we got here? Oh, a nice big tuna. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Long tails. Can we land all three? That's the. I landed mine. I landed mine. Mine's in my seat. There's my one there on the top. He's put that hard for it. OK, we've got that one there of Wayne's, yeah. Good stuff. Right, Wayne, I'm coming. Well done. All right. Bouncing tuna. All right, we'll get those hooks out nice and quick. And even back at the camp, there's more fishing variety. There we go. Tarpon. Well, we've got a bit of tarpon action right here at the river mouth. There's a massive back eddy, and back eddies are one of those key locations that have a lot of bait fish congregating there, and also a lot of predators like these tarpon. They are beautiful looking fish. Nothing like the big monsters that they get over in Florida. But look at this, just chump like crazy. Look at that. Beautiful looking fish. They are a beautiful fish. You'll probably jump out of my hands here, but oh, there you go. And when the sun goes down, the action goes from catching fish to cooking them as we enjoy the professional hospitality of our CY Charters crew. Well, these are the beautiful Shimano Colt snipers, they're called. Great jigs. And really, it's just a wounded bait fish. You jig it up and down, and depending on the depth of water, you just change the weight. So this is a 42 grammer. You've got a, uh, a 35 gram there. You can go up a little bit heavier. For a 55, a whole range of different lures these days to uh, to catch fish, and these are certainly one of the best. The Colt Sniper, great little patterns on it from Shimano. Ever since I was a kid, I've loved my estuary fishing, and because of that, I really love the combination of my Mazda BT50 and my Hobie kayak. The perfect package to get me where the fish are biting, anywhere, anytime. I'm just working my way up onto the flat. As the water starts to push up over the flat, the big predators come in with it. I've got the Hobie, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up in here, get the Yabby pump out, and hopefully uh, some whiting will come around, and we'll start having a cast. Now, lots of Yabby holes here, and they're a fabulous bait, free bait, as long as you've got a nice Yabby pump. And there's our Yabby. Can't get better than live baits whether it's a live squid or a live pilchard or even a worm. And you can't beat a plain -o bait bucket to keep those yabbies alive and kicking just the way a hungry whiting likes them. He's a bit tired right now. Yes, nice fish. Look at that. That's what you put all the effort in for. They're a real predator up here on the flats. Oh, beautiful fish. Right on. See you later, mate. Grow a bit bigger. And they're really just starting to, to work their way now. The current's pushing in. They're working their way right up into these shallows. There we go. We've got a bit of weight. There we go. <laughs> Certainly a nice size whiting. Summer whiting, sand whiting, yellowfin whiting. Got a few different names. Beautiful. Get up 
Nice fish. All that hard work of oh, getting up here and pushing into the shallows, pumping a few yabbies, all pays dividends. The great thing is, you can do it all on a hobie. Right on. Beautiful.